In this video, I will be showing you OnePager Pro from Microsoft Project. This was inspired by Safford, and you can find it in the link below. When using OnePager Pro, you will notice when you first open your project, uh, you're going to get an option to see some help topics, also a little three-step tutorial. Now, of course, once you are familiar with the help topics, and once you are familiar with the tutorial, in the lower left corner, you can say, please do not show this at startup anymore. And then that will you know, move you through. Now let's take a look at using this wonderful tool. Uh, we will have the opportunity to mark the items that we feel worthy of being in our new report, our new image that we create. Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to go ahead and add the flag column. Now you may add that wherever you'd like. Um, I tend to like to put it uh, somewhere here near my finish. Yeah, truly no right or wrong. And we add one of our flag uh, fields, whichever flag field we like to add is perfectly fine. And then we're going to begin to mark the items that we want to show up inside of our report. I'm going to go ahead and say that we are interested in the assembly. Uh, we are interested in the estimation. And whatever else we may want to see. Once I've marked the items that will make it into the report, then it's a matter of going to our add-ins, One Pager Pro, and we can either open an existing project view, or we can go ahead and update an existing view, or create a brand new. I'm going to create a brand new. First, we decide which template we want to use. I'm going to go ahead and keep the default. If, however, I wanted to change it, I simply click on Change, click on what I want, and that's the template we're using. We'll give it a unique name, My Sales. We also then can have all tasks or just the ones with yes in the column, and then, of course, what field is it that houses the yes? We can also decide the snapshot date, so as of what date is it that we're wanting, so which is the report referring to, and we can go ahead then and create the new project view. The OnePager Pro project view editor is now available, and I have opportunities to make changes about any of these elements that I wish to change. We may do a file, save as, and then change the type. We have PNG, JPEG, GIF, so all other sorts of graphic types, and, and that is very helpful when we're wanting to then possibly embed this in, into some other larger report. On the home ribbon, we have a chance to copy out the entire document or just specific pages if it is a multi-page report. We can decide to show and hide various elements. We can go in and set the properties of the report. The properties of the report are everything from the title We can also adjust the start and finish date. We can adjust as well any of our rows and or swim lanes. The appearance of the task bars, milestones, legend, if we even show a legend, if so, where and how. We can adjust the page layout. Headers and footers, which are helpful in the case of multi-page items. We can have comment boxes, deciding what those are going to look like for consistency. We can show what links, and under advanced, we can decide how we want to handle everything from display options down to the background. I'm going to go ahead and just click OK. 
and now my title has updated. Once we've perfected what this looks like, we can decide to copy the current project and make it a new template. That way we can be quicker and more efficient in the future when we have our favorite customizations in place. We also have Page Layout Ribbon, which allows me to do many of the things we did in the Properties area. We can insert new items, and then of course zoom in, zoom out, and make sure that we get a better sense of how everything will be working and fitting. I'm going to go ahead and save my changes. I can decide wherever I'd like to save it. That way I can come back at a future date and either update it or open it or print it or work with it again. I'm going to go ahead and close. And ultimately then we are back inside of project. So I think you'll agree you can build beautiful layouts. Here are a few samples of other layouts that you can achieve. So regardless of how you decide to develop your One Page Pro views, I think you'll find exactly what you need in order to create a top-notch professional looking report in very little time with very little effort. Very quick, very efficient. Thanks again, Safford, for inspiring this video. Please check out other products available in the link below.